Hello, hello guys and welcome back again to a brand new video. In today's tutorial, I will be showing you how to use Visual Studio Code uh, extensions. So first of all guys, if you don't have Visual Studio Code yet, I highly suggest you to go to your browser and install it from there. So you just go here to the URL section and then search for Visual Studio Code. Here you just have to click on the first website. So here we go. And here we'll find some information if you want to know what like the latest updates and the information that comes with it. And here you will find everything in detail. So this is the, like the detail of the details. If you want to actually read it, you can do that and basically now if you want to uninstall it and download it you can just click here download you wait until it's fully downloaded and then you start uninstalling it in the installing process they will ask you for the languages that you want to use so make sure to use the big ones which are like python c c plus plus c sharp and javascript and html after we finish with that you will need to install sometimes some extensions to help you work with your code so how we can actually get them just go ahead and open your Visual Studio code and from here guys what you need to do is go here to the extensions and you can search for whatever extension you want so it's, if this menu doesn't appear for you you just have to click on Control shift x and they will take you to the extension so now i have it here so i will suggest you guys some like some extensions that can be useful for you to use the first uh, extension that i highly use and everyone like really used it is the code runner basically the code runner is pretty much like this icon it's uh, this icon which is helps you a lot in order for like run your code instead of going here and click on run debug you can just go through this button and it will be running directly now how we can get it you just go to extensions and then you can go here runner code runner and you can get it from here of course you can search for any kind of extension that you have in mind, uh, Japanese language if you want, Chinese, Spanish, etc. You can also do this one if you want, prettier, which makes your code look pretty much better, as you can see in the image. And yeah, guys, that was it. That's how you can use the extension in Visual Studio Code. I hope you learned something from this video. If you have guys any other questions, please let them down below in the comment section. And see you guys in the next tutorial.